I'm Adam Kudievsky. I'm here through the DCI Corps program, working with the Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division. We've partnered with them to help them flesh out what they can do with a series of patents to create high octane biofuels. Hi, I'm Mark Brown. Hi, my name is Mindy. And I'm Taylor Vasovsky. So this is where we started. With this biofuel, we believe that our key value propositions were that it was cheap, sustainable, environmentally friendly, and high performing. And we thought that our best customer segments would be everyone from UAVs to airplanes, the Department of Defense, commercial airlines, automobiles, and even space travel. So what we did was we got out into the market and we started getting interviews. And what we realized were some of our things that we thought were important, not as important, but we also realized that there were some changes to what we felt should happen in the market. Throughout the customer interview process, we find some shocking news. For example, for UAV, and we realized the small UAVs use uh, batteries instead of fuel, and the big UAVs naturally use RG. You need to go through some uh, verification process, which you need to have initially a big amount of production, which we don't have as a startup company. So UAV gone, and all the military related DOD, special travel, and military airplanes. That one is for the automobile gas crisis right now. The price is so low, so the uh, competition of being cheap is also gone. So we lost the automobile segment as well. So we thought that cheap was going to be, be a good one. But oil prices right now are rock, rock bottom. Environmentally friendly it was a nice to have, but the economics was what was driving us. So this was the least down here, if not on the floor. High performance, we provided slightly higher performance, but that wasn't the, the main things that, that we were hearing from our customers. Sustainable, that only mattered in terms of, of the production. That really fall, fell under our activities. What we're left with and what we found were RINs, Renewable Identification Numbers from the EPA, which represent up to 20 to $25 billion impact for this industry, and drop-in capability, the ability to take this fuel and plug it immediately 